Hey guys, Jason here, and welcome back to the Abyss Garage. And today is a side project, kind of a fun uh, task, what we're doing here. And uh, I'm going to be going ahead and painting the skateboard, a motorcycle helmet, and a tumbler, uh, which I primed uh, last time around with the chopper project itself. And um, so with that being said, I have like pretty much an idea of how I want to paint the bike, but I'm not 100% sure until I actually uh, see what I'm looking at here. And being that I'm uh, completely new to painting, uh, I have no idea how colors are going to turn out. So um, I have an idea, but sometimes when it gets actually uh, laid down, it's totally different. So uh, I figure I'll use these as test beds for the bike itself, and then I'll see exactly how I want to go with the bike uh, to make a final decision. So uh, that's what today's video is going to be about, and we're going to see um, just how well I can actually spray paint, or paint, I should say, uh, metal flake and candy and pearl. So uh, let's get to it. First things first, uh, just need to go ahead and scuff up uh, the items I want to paint here. So again, as you guys seen before in the last uh, videos, uh, red scotch bright pads probably going to be the best bet for me. Um, so like I said, sealer's down and everything is pretty much good to go. So I don't need to do a lot of sanding. I just want to put, uh, you know, a light, nice sand on it uh, just so that way I have the paint here properly. Also, uh, I'm not a painter, so uh, this is just all going on assumption of how things are supposed to go. All right, so now that the scuffing is done, probably one of the easiest things I've had to do in the last couple weeks, to be honest, uh, we are going to go ahead and get a base coat on the uh, items here and I have three different colors and uh, from what I've been uh, watching online uh, with metal flaking uh, you can metal flake obviously right over your sealer um, however you have to it seems like you have to uh, lay the metal metal flake uh, in the inner coat uh, really thick to make sure you got complete coverage and uh, while I'm not trying to chintz out on things uh, they say to um, it's best to use a base coat that is similar to your metal flake to help out. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use up uh, some spray paint that I have from when I graffiti the wall. And we are going to start off with uh, black on the skateboard itself. The tumbler is going to get this uh, jungle green paint. And then the helmet itself, I have this uh, Mayan treasure uh, blue uh, paint from uh, Bear. I ended up getting a bunch of this stuff from Home Depot. Um, so if you guys are wondering where the products come from, that is that. So uh, now this is scuffed, I'll get this uh, on uh, back into the uh, spray booth itself and then get some coatings on uh, the stuff. So into the unknown we go here. I'm going to show you guys real quick uh, the helmet, tumbler, and skateboard, and then along with the metal flake colors, which uh, I'm going to pick out and attempt to apply today. So here we are with the skateboard, and now that it's dried, looks pretty good. Same thing with the tumbler itself. You know, got that green coat on there, and then this uh, really bright blue which is kind of maybe a little bit brighter than I was anticipating. But again, the whole idea is to have a 
uh, base color that is close to uh, the metal flake itself. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to be using uh, Tropic Glitz, uh, Tropical Glitz uh, inner coat to uh, act as the binder for the uh, metal flake itself. I know some people are um, people will use clear coat as a inner coat. Uh, however, it's different thickness and so forth and so on. And I'm sure you can use it. And I'm sure people have great uh, results with using a regular clear coat. Uh, however, I'm going to uh, play it safe and use the inner coat. And then here is the colors. So again, I have from uh, Tropical Glitz this uh, peacock blue, which looked really good in the uh, online. Uh, this just came in today, the Soul Glow. Uh, I'll open this up and show you guys. But I also have from Paint Huffer, uh, Color Culture, which is really great. It really just kind of looked great on the internet. And I said, you know what, I might as well just buy it. Uh, Blue Tang and also uh, Centipede. So here, let me just go ahead and open this for you guys. Uh, and you can see with the light, even with the camera shining on it, it is different than in person. That soul glow looks pretty crazy, actually, when the light hits it. Uh, I mean, that's a wild color in itself. You got the blue tang and then the centipede. So the idea here, like I said before, was to match as best as I could, obviously. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the blue tang on the helmet, although the, quite honestly, the peacock may be closer. And then I'm actually going to split this skateboard in uh, probably half. I'm not exactly sure which way because I'm going to want to see how uh, these two colors spray out on that. So with that being said, there's the explanation uh, showing you the colors or the metal flake itself. And uh, now let's get to mixing. So here's the color culture, uh, all mixed up. I'm trying to get you. There you go. Try to show it there on the stick. So let's get this uh, into the spray gun. I can uh, get this on camera. Three coats of clear I got on uh, the stuff here just barely had enough uh, for what I had mixed up uh, I initially was thinking I was gonna have too much however uh, the clear you know sprays out a lot thinner I'm using a 1.3 millimeter uh, tip on, on the uh, spray nozzle or the spray gun in case anyone's wondering um, that's what seems to uh, work well from what I was reading online and let me show you guys this stuff as it is uh, tacking up. 
obviously uh, it will change once it's done and in, in proper lighting but uh, here we go and there's the tumbler itself looks pretty good and then this skateboard that I keep talking about so it's really hard to tell uh, with the light I'd have to get a light on there but we'll see in the uh, in better daylight later when it's secured uh, that silver really pops out but it's it's really subtle you really have to get on top of it to see it but I mean that purple I don't even have really light on there and that purple is just popping like crazy and uh, here is the blue tang with the helmet itself and uh, that looks pretty wild once we get light on it it's really crazy how the light changes so much um, you know even being uh, in a closed area so um, camera I didn't think picks up on it nearly as as well as it should and if anyone's out there and it's done a little bit of this you know what I'm talking about so uh, let this cure and uh, so that part's done and then on to the next step which is going to be like I said before it's going to be the pearl and it's going to be candy so we're back in the paint booth itself now uh, the other night I gotta say I struggled really bad uh, masking this off so if any pointers out there for anyone uh, the number 11 exacto blade I was using was dull grab a fresh blade uh, razor blade in general uh, can't emphasize that enough for you guys out there uh, I'm probably gonna have issues with this but I'm using this again as a learning piece um, so there's gonna be a lot more to it but we have this masked off for the pearl same thing with the skateboard now um, I ended up adding a tape line uh, on the one side or the other side to break this up but I'm gonna leave these attached here because um, I'm curious to see how everything's gonna spray out when it's done um, curiosity to see how it's looked this isn't for a customer uh, I'm not selling this uh, so it's okay if there's imperfections or errors because uh, it's the only way you can learn so uh, just to get a base I'm using again uh, leftover cans from the graffitied wall here, so I have this uh, bare premium white uh, paint, which I've ran under hot water uh, for a little bit and shaken up um, good enough. So we're gonna get a coat on this. And this, I'm gonna try, actually, I think what I'm gonna do a little different is I'm gonna spray white on the back side here and then up to say this portion of the helmet. And I'm gonna try to leave this area itself still in the uh, metal flake and then because I'm curious to see how uh, the pearl once the pearls laid down if there's going to be a difference in color between uh, the white and then also the metal flake so I want to see how well the pearl covers again uh, just for uh, knowledge going uh, further down the road with paintwork so uh, let's get this can shaken up a little bit more and get some paint applied
like so. And it's hard to tell with the, the camera. But uh, she's mixed up. And uh, we'll see if I put a, too much pearl in or not enough pearl or just the right amount. So it should be interesting. So unlike TV shows, uh, I'm experiencing real world problems here. First thing is first, uh, these plastic uh, recyclable cups, they don't work. I ended up having them melt. Uh, I guess the reducer, whatever chemical is in there, end up melting it. So end up making a mess, leaking, wasting material, uh, which sucks. And then uh, number two was, uh, this 30 year old compressor that works apparently has sprung a leak and uh, is not able to pump up the, um, the candy uh, color or the candy paint itself through it and uh, get it out there onto the stuff. And uh, so yeah, and the only positive thing I can say is there's gotta be some reason why uh, I'm not supposed to use the plastic airbrush that I was gonna use in the first place so I'm gonna to have to go to Harbor Freight, get the airline itself, run the adapter, and then just use the Awada that I wanted to use in the first place. So not everything goes to plan. That's, uh, that's life, I'm pissed off, and uh, yeah. So I wanted to get something accomplished and it didn't happen. So hopefully next clip will be another day and I'll have the airline and I'll be good to go and get some candy applied here. Here we are now about one hour after I sprayed the last uh, layer of clear coat. I did three layers of clear on the uh, on this stuff here and it happened to be the right amount that I had mixed up. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, everything now that it's uh, in that curing process and then uh, I'll explain the next step that I'm gonna take here. So we start off with our tumbler. Now this tumbler itself, uh, this was really basic but I just wanted to see how uh, candies and pearls are going to uh, mix with each other in layers. So just for future reference um, Did that helmet itself again? I mentioned before about the uh, pearl finding out that it's more uh, Translucent and then opaque so you can really see how the um, the color itself fades uh, Candy came out pretty cool with this uh, This tape line that I did more like a like a tree ring pattern uh, put my logo on the back there uh, just trying to uh, you know take up some real estate make some stuff interesting and you know again uh, more ideas down the road but this looks really cool um, and it changes in the light so that's that's pretty cool and then same thing here with the skateboard um, you guys seen it before but here is a clear coat on top of the pearl and candy so we start off with black move to gold which is more yellow with the white pearl on the background then we go to the purple, and the purple was definitely interesting. Uh, change the fan pattern as well, just to try and experiment with things, and then come over to that blue, and that's really bright against, again, with that white. So, uh, looks pretty cool. I'm gonna grab a flashlight real quick, and just show you guys what it looks like once light hits this thing. So, again, looks just black, and then we hit light to it, and then you really get to start to see um, the silver just popped through and it looks better with a different light that I have but this is just one that I grabbed here and then when you really hit that light with the purple it just pops big time otherwise it just kind of looks dark I mean still stands out 
So uh, now the next step is going to head and uh, let this cure, and then we'll um, going to wet sander a little bit, uh, try to get rid of, rid of some imperfections the best that I can, and then go to a compound and then a polish, and then we should be done. So that was, uh, it's not a how-to, but I got to say that is an A to Z uh, start to finish pretty much on doing uh, a paint job, a metal flake paint job with other things. Took it all the way to the end showing you guys uh, as far as uh, compounding or wet sanding, compounding, polishing. And uh, I got to say, um, the results are awesome. Uh, probably the light's not going to do it justice, so I'll have to get... Uh, get this stuff outside uh, another day and drop in some clips for you guys. And I got to tell you, this is the honest truth. Everything that you guys saw me do in today's video was my first time, except for airbrushing. I got to say, probably last time I picked up an airbrush was uh, probably 12 years ago or so in that neighborhood. Uh, it's been a very long time and uh, I was definitely rusty. And uh, the more that I airbrush, the better that it will get, or the better that I will get at it. But everything else is the first time. So if you guys are watching that out there, um, you can do it as well. It's it's really, uh, I don't want to say not that big of a deal, but uh, you know this thing came out great. Uh, it's really amazing, actually. <laughs> and um, show you guys. Uh, the helmet really turned around once I put this uh, trim, this little trim weather weather guard stuff on that I've had and uh, the buttons back in there. I have my logo going on in the back, probably mentioned that. Um, it's kind of really hard to tell with the candies, um, you know, over that metallic. But again, same thing with the pearls. So I uh, wanted to see how everything was going to react and it um, gives me a really good idea. Same thing with the tumbler here. So... Um, you know, this came out interesting as well. Same thing. So it's just a matter of getting the ideas down. So the beautiful thing is, finally, 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 I'm able to now, the next thing is we're going to clean everything up here and then paint the shovel head chopper. I am thrilled beyond belief. Probably can't really tell it in my voice, but uh, I'm very happy. So um, this gives me the vote of confidence that I need to go ahead and uh, the beautiful thing is now the weather is starting to turn around a little bit for us here. Uh, some cold nights, but um, overall it's getting warmer now. So I'm super thrilled. I can't emphasize that enough about doing this uh, shovel head chopper paint job finally. So if you guys have stuck around long enough, I greatly appreciate it. Stay around because uh, the next videos coming up are going to be great, I feel like. And uh, until then, guys, take care and I'll see you around for the next video.